Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be going over the differences between Apache OpenOffice and LibreOffice and see which one's the best for you and what they do. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe this video, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Because 99% of you are not subscribed. So let's, let's bump that number up by 10%. Anyway, so LibreOffice, LibreOffice and OpenOffice, they are basically much better and free versions of Microsoft Office. Now, you can't get Microsoft Office as far as I'm aware for Linux. Well, for some variations of Linux. I know I haven't looked for, for uh, Manjaro, which is variation of Arch. And I don't want to. So what we have here, if we do, if we do a quick Google, we go to Apache Open Office, select, hey look, I want to download, and it comes in a dev package. I've already downloaded it, but when you click download, full installation, it just takes you to a SourceForge page. You can download it from, download it from there. It's not in the uh, package, package manager for Manjaro, which is a surprise, whereas LibreOffice is. So we'll just do the usual click install and say, yep, uh, I want to do yes, and give it the password, and then let it work its magic in the background. Because apparently there is a problem with it. Right. Oh, I already have LibreOffice still installed. Okay, never mind. So that's the that's the benefit of uh, Manjaro. It comes with LibreOffice installed by standard. So when you open LibreOffice, you have a couple of choices. You've got your Word sheet. You got uh, Excel, you've got your PowerPoint drawing, which would be Microsoft's presentation. That's been a while since that's existed. Microsoft, so the presentation and publication, publicator, publication, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've actually seen it existed. Uh, something math and then basically Microsoft uh, Access, so the database stuff. Pain in the ass it is to use that, but uh, anyway. I just go, okay, I want a Word document. Boom, problem solved. It's easy as that. Now, if I want to open uh, Office again, LibreOffice again, it keeps everything here. So this is a different file. This is a different file. If I were to go here and just go, uh, do that and then go, okay. That's a thing, and we're just gonna go save it. We're gonna go save as, let's just call it thing. Close it, and then go back to the LibreOffice base. So I'm gonna LibreOffice. It kept it. That's the wonderful thing about the LibreOffice. It allows you to see your pre the recent documents, as you can see here, of all the other softwares which is pretty nice. It allows you to keep everything in one place, even if you do save them in three, four, three, four, five, six different places, it keeps them all in the same place, and it makes your life so much easier. Now this is LibreOffice. I am now going to start looking at Apache. Now this can be a small pain in the rear end, seeing as I've not actually done this before. See, this is all that comes with it. And that's all it is. It doesn't come with support for anything that's not RPM based, which is a small pain in the ass. But here we are. Now, as we can see, LibreOffice is widely supported by a lot of things. Widely supported by a lot of operating systems. It comes installed as standard or Manjaro which is very nice. It comes installed as standard for a lot of other ones. Apache OpenOffice is aimed more at, well, it's aimed more at uh, RPM and Deb-based operating systems, so Debian and Ubuntu, for example, from what, from what I've seen for the works of that. It's not really designed to work outside of other operating systems based on other 
variations so uh, save Ubuntu Debian based ones. So it's kind of a pain, but it does work for other Linux variations. But when it comes to Office uh, processing suites, I do highly recommend using LibreOffice. It works. It's got a nice UI. It saves everything here. Yeah, things do look a bit funky. Uh, yes, create a new database. Just finish. And no, I don't actually want to make something there. So it does look a bit funky. But you've got this. This is better than Windows. You don't get this with OpenOffice or Windows. You've got a math-based pro uh, formula-based program. As far as I'm aware, Windows don't support. You don't get this from Microsoft. So you're suddenly looking at something very, very nice. So my recommendation when it comes to an Office processing suite would be LibreOffice. Also, it comes with, some nice, it comes with templates as well. So say I want a write of templates. It gives you a load of stuff. Looks nice. What about spreadsheet templates? Not exist, that's fine. PowerPoint spreadsheets. I don't know why you would need a piano unless you are teaching piano or, or something. But yeah. This is LibreOffice. It's much better. I would advise you to use it. It also does work on Windows as well, as well as Mac OS. So you're looking at something that is wide ranging much better than Microsoft Office is. And the one key difference, it's free, which is very good. Anyway, this is the end of the video. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, and click like, so that way I know you like the video. I'd like to thank my Patreons, Ashley and Raining Hazmat, for being subscribed over at Patreon. You can see a link for that in the description, where you get early access to videos and a, a couple of other benefits. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.